Dougie, uh, the last week before uh, Hemi gets his opportunity to get a little bit of revenge. Mm, yeah, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be an exciting fight. Uh, I can't wait. It's going to be a... Yeah, I think Hemi's excited to get this one out of the way too. Yeah, it was something he, he wanted uh, immediately after. The he wanted it the next day, to be honest. So, yeah, he was pretty pissed off about his last performance. Um, but um, at least this will be a good day that he gets to um, fix that. Mm. Um, I, you know, we spoke off camera last week and you were saying, you know, he, he's really well and he's hitting hard. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the interview I did with Eugene and the, we were talking about Kai Car of France and uh, he said his top three hardest hitters that he's ever held pads for or anything was Kai, um, Hemi and Jordan Ty. Uh, you go along with how hard Hemi hits? Hemi has to be up there, you know what I mean? So like, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be arguing that strongly if he didn't put that up to play, yeah, but Hemi is definitely one of those guys that you got to be up there, yeah. So. What is Hemi going to do different this time around than he did two years ago? Um, will this fight, will this be on before the fight or after the fight? <laughs> <laughs> will this be showing before the fight or after the fight? Yeah, before. before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. okay. But, uh, well, what I can tell you is that Hemi's going to win. Yeah, yeah. okay. okay. Yes. You, you see a big, big difference. difference. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's great. Hey, uh, I just talked to Hemi before because we talked about uh, last time you had to go and, and find uh, opponents for sparring because mm. you were fighting a big man. But uh, the number of fighters in your boxing class these days is uh, way, way different than it was two years ago. Uh, the main focus wasn't really sparring this time. The main focus was just getting Hemi to move, teaching Hemi to bang and move, bang and move, bang and move, cut off, stalk. So that was mainly our main focus. You know, sparring is just putting it all together, but uh, we had to get, um, it's like teaching a, a dump truck to fucking move a little bit faster, you know what I mean? So, nah, it came along. Um, talking about boxing, and we've uh, t covered the IBA thing quite a bit, and it's, uh, it's a big part of your life now, and it's going to be a big part of New Zealand boxing by the sound of things. Mm -hmm. And last week you run a judge and refing um, course here, brought in outside uh, yeah, yeah, help. Yeah, and yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so I brought uh, an Iburn official, uh, Siru, Mr. Siru Wipi. And then uh, he goes around all of Oceania and, and some other countries and, and that's his job is that he upskills. You know, he trains people that want to become refs and judges and all this kind of stuff. And like, um, first I had um, 29 names down, um, registered, but only nine turned up. But kind of funny enough, um, after the course, they've all kind of said, oh, we'll jump in the next one. So um, I think he was, was just kind of more hesitant to see what was happening and all this kind of stuff. And when they kind of see that they're all jumping on board. But um, it was a great, it was a great turnout. You know, we had two, um, we had two really good um, RNJs, well established, two star. Um, Bob Halliday from um, Christchurch, he turned up. So um, it, was, it was a really good output. Like it wasn't, they weren't just stuck behind a desk and just listening to some person just reading everything off the, the, the projector. It was like a lot more hands on and all that kind of stuff. So they loved it. You know, I mean, it was good feedback. Mm. And um, we, we filmed a show on Saturday, Lolo Hamuli had a amateur boxing show and um, the officials there, some I knew, some I didn't, but uh, all, all really good people. Um, how, is, if it's uh, gonna be an integration, can you see between officials now and officials? I can kind of already see already, uh, not kind of going into it, but there's going to be two different, there's going to be two different, like there's, there's two different associations, of course, Boxing New Zealand and myself. The officials will have to be separate as well. You know what I mean? So separate fighters, 
uh, separate officials and that's how it's gonna look like it's gonna be. I'm just waiting to try and get everything locked in so everyone can see the pathway for how everything's gonna go here. But it doesn't mean that somebody in Boxing New Zealand can't come over to Iba at the moment? Well, let's just say uh, two of the old guys that I had from my RJs, Boxing New Zealand's already kind of said, you guys can't box for our ref and judge for us no more. So that kind of already kind of says that they don't want that kind of, they don't want that kind of play happening here. It's quite sad, really. It is, and New Zealand is too small. New Zealand is too small to divide, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, um, but if, um, if that's the way they want to kind of play, then I'll let them play the little kindergarten games. Yeah. So how does that translate to fighters in the, in the same... I'll answer Are they that. Going to stand I'll, I'll, them I'll, down or? I'll answer that later. Yeah, but but uh, um, I'm looking forward to what's happening. But uh, I just got to kind of keep my cards to myself at the moment. Yeah. You've obviously got enough officials now to go. Ahead I've got definitely. Yeah, I've got definitely and more than enough to do a show. So um, I'm just waiting to put my ducks all in one line, and then I'm going to shoot them all down. Do, do you, um, have you got a time frame on when we might see an Iber? I will let you know when that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully at the end of the year, but we'll see how things go. How everything goes with also some of the other shows happening around here. Mm. Oh well, I, I wish you well. I hope the uh, I hope things can be worked out. It sounds like somebody's drawn a line in the sand, but I I hope that can be. Uh, Smudged and good thing about sand, they can be washed away and start all over again. Eh? So, it's all good, cool, cool, and all the best with me and uh, this weekend. Thank you, cheers, man. Oh, I had to suck my stomach for that one. <laughs>